This liberal culture, no, this liberal culture licenses people to drink alcohol to the point of their own oblivion as demonstrated here. Can I say Christianity? Can you say Christianity? Christianity. How do you Can you say it? Christianity? I don't believe in belief. Things that I either are do you or believe they're that? not. I don't believe in belief. Do you believe yeah. that? What? <laughs> what you've just said. I don't believe in belief. Do you believe it? I don't believe in belief. Yeah, but do you believe that? <laughs> I didn't. I didn't disagree with Christianity and think that Christians were wrong. I, I just like. Go on. I really want to know why you stopped being a Christian. Who would I worship? I said Jesus. And I answered, Where is it? Yeah, and then you said, If you can say to the Father, do you see what I mean? Do you see what I mean? They ask a question, and then I'm, I'm, they Bobby, I, I want to hear your answer though, but not on camera. Please. Right. Or you can be on camera at least. Okay, I'll be on camera. You asked the question, the hypothetical question. Anybody if the Father and the Son appear no, to me. Oh, that wasn't the question, Bob. Father and Jesus. No, I said and Jesus. Jesus, I said and, Jesus and he prostrated to the Father, who would I worship? My honest answer is I would worship both. That is my honest answer. It might not be an answer that fits into the narrative, but that is the honest answer. Now let me ask you this hypothetical question. Let, let me ask you a hypothetical question. Get eyes in the house. I don't want to be on your camera. Are we still on for you getting my 500? 20%. 20%. Oh, he's gone. Where's he gone? He he's ran off. He ran off. He ran off. Do you see what I mean? You just saw it live. The Muslims go around asking Christians the same questions every week. And they keep going around until they find a gullible Christian who doesn't know how to defend their faith. Then when they meet a Christian who does know how to defend their faith, they run off. And that's what you've just seen literally right in front of you. I'm not making it up. Did you not see that, bro? I saw him sliver out. Can I say Christianity? Are you can like, you say Christianity? Christianity. Like... <laughs> can you say that? Christianity? <laughs> say well, Christianity. Can no, you say Christianity? It's, it's a profanity. What's a profanity? Christianity. Well, at least he can say the word. <laughs> Why is it a profanity, bro? Because it's the worst religion in the. Bible. It's the worst religion in the Bible. Bro, are, are you, it's the only religion okay, in the okay, Bible. No, no, it's the only conversation. Brother, are you a Christian? Brother, yes, I am a Christian. Okay. Brother, are can I ask a question? Line? How much have you drunk before coming to the park today? Bro, well, very much. <laughs> I want to share you some words I mean, with you. Well, actually, a bit of not like actually, fair play. Okay, funny. I've had a few drinks, you know but not enough, enough to believe in tell, like man. snaking, talking snakes. Can you show me the page? Is there me, a talking snake? I want snake to share here? something with you. Okay, share okay. It with me. Yeah. Be on alert. Stand firm in the faith. Act like men. Be strong. Let all that you do be done in love. Thank you. Abusing alcohol, brother, well, is, that's fair enough. is abusing but, yourself. But didn't Jesus no. turn water into Bro. a loaf of bread? Bro, I drink alcohol, but I don't oh, abuse well, you it. Do. Your alcohol has already made you into a fool before the camera. Really? You couldn't even speak. Your well, speech I'm is happy slurred. With it. Your and I'm way slurred. cleverer than you. Brother, Brother, okay, listen to me. Let's crack on I'm, not, I'm not the one that's okay, drunk. Okay, don't look at it. I'm not the one that's Is drunk. Is the book going to save you? The, yeah. Okay, fold the book it will, over it will, and speak it will to me as a man. You. I am speaking to you as a man. Okay, then I am saying, close the book. I'm saying speak that being a, a drunkard... In front of the camera. Being a drunkard is not a man. Okay. Giving yourself over so to you the drink, abuse yeah? of alcohol okay, is so not you believe a in, man. Okay, so you believe in this Jesus man that, like... This sadly represents too much of England. Really? Our addiction and abuse to the pub Actually, I'm Norwegian. and to pub culture. You're a Norwegian. Can do snook enough. Fair enough. Yeah? We can work Slokadunos. with that as well. We can, can work with that as well. Yeah? Yeah? That the won't Norwegians save you. landed that boat, in the UK. That boat won't save you. It will save Close your liver boat. if you listen to it. <laughs> Close the boat. Brother, it would Speak save your liver. Speak to me as a I am human speaking being. to you as a man. All right. Close the boat. Now the deeds of the flesh you. are evident. Which are immorality, impurity, sensuality, idolatry, sorcery, 
enmities, strife as we've just seen amongst the Muslims today, jealousy, outbursts of anger, disputes, dissensions, factions, Close the envying, uh, why drunkenness, the drunkenness, drunkenness yeah. carousing, and things like these of which I forewarn you just as I have forewarned you so that those who practice such time. things I'm will give you not one inherit I'm gonna give you the one kingdom one of God. You got one so, chance here, yeah? So, so Shut the brother, book. Speak to me as a man. I am speaking to right, you as a man. Put the book by in your pocket. seeking to imitate. I don't, I don't need to. I don't need to. Okay. I don't Can need to. Can you not? Christ is the only Are you educated? true man. Are you educated? And we Are must you educated? follow him. Are you educated? And that will make Are you educated? Listen. Go on. Listen. Listen. Make Are you point. educated? Is that your point? Are you educated? Yes, sir. In what way are you educated? I have a degree. In what? In religion. Okay. <laughs> are you educated? You can, yes, very much. In I have what? a PhD. In? In psychology. It hasn't helped you one jot though, has it? Well... <laughs> because you got a degree in psychology and you're abusing alcohol. Brother, that disease is going to kill you. Okay. It's going to put you in an early grave. And you believe in fairy tales. You, you think that I believe okay. in fairy tales. Why? But those why? fairy why? 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 tales... When you speak to me... But those okay, fairy like, tales like, be a man. have when stopped you speak me, to me from abusing like, alcohol. Like, involve the crowds. No. Speak to me as a man. Yeah? I am speaking Look to you as a man. Look at me in the eyes. Yeah? Those fairy tales that you mock have kept me from abusing oh, alcohol. Yeah, right. Sorry, don't spit on me. Yeah? That PhD that you have in psychology hasn't helped you one jot because why, here why you not? are stood as a drunk what about the brother there is a better way so you're mocking the muslim right? no brave what i'm mocking is a man who is mocking the fairy tales that stop a man from abusing alcohol Look at me in the eyes who is abusing you alcohol me, yeah. I, you're so drunk you can't even tell when i'm looking at you i'm not looking at anyone else you man up get off the alcohol be a man Take responsibility for your life yeah, yeah. and Richard, stop giving yourself over to drugs and its abuse. So, so, and drugs. Alcohol so, is a drug, my friend. Is tea a drug? Yes, it is. So, so why did okay. God take Noah? Why it is God, a drug. God take Noah oh, is he going to say that? To, to, to build the ark. All right. Shall we? Why is a drunken streaker? A drunken streaker. Why is alcohol used in the Christian religion? Yeah, so, exactly. To answer the he question answer very that. directly. He says I can't answer it. Perhaps if you would listen because to an answer. Drink of the blood so, of Jesus it's simply, his it's simply this. God uses blood. sinners. The only sinless person there's ever been is Jesus Christ. And every person... Every person, hey, including all shouting. the prophets the like and all the patriarchs, person, yeah? were all sinners. David was a sinner. Don't Noah shout, was a sinner. Adam was a sinner. Are you a sinner? Paul was a sinner. Are you a sinner? Peter was a sinner. And are you a sinner? I'm a sinner. Oh, my God. I asked a question. Fair enough. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Do you have a New Testament? Yes, yes, I do. Wait, do you can I it? ask you a question? I haven't for many, many, many years. I would encourage I, you to pick it I, back up. I, 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 I've had a New Testament. Just, just I would it encourage you pick it up and then put it, it down. Why do you spit? Look at the hatred in his heart. 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 You're a scouser, aren't you? He hates the Christians. And you can see he hates the Christians. Brother, you need seriously. I'm going to call you brother. And there's not a damn thing you can do about it. Brother, you need a better way than the way you're following. The way you're following is going to lead you into an early grave. Uh, how, please, how are you doing? Please, for your how own sake. Well, I'm not drunk. How are you doing? I'm not drunk. How are you doing? I would encourage you, You're brother. a nutter. I would encourage you, brother. I would encourage you, brother. You're a nutter. To give up this thing okay. that then is destroying Okay, then listen to me. Go on, make one point. Then I'm going to go. Listen to me. I can save you. Go on. Yeah? Yeah. By psychology, by really? science. Really? Why hasn't he saved you? I can you? save you. Why do you believe in Why hasn't he tale? saved you? Why do you believe in... Why hasn't well, he saved you? Well, we're standing here. Okay, I'm going to stand back. Me and you, yeah? I'll stand over this white line, you stand over I'm this I'm going to let him have the last yeah. word and then I'm going to okay, go. Come here. Stand over this white no, line. No, bro, I don't do what you say. Let's have separation, yeah? I can help you. I can heal you. Stand over here. <laughs> There you go. You That's what alcohol All does right. to you guys. Alright, so you 
don't listen. Merry Christmas. Why don't have a good no, no. Merry Christmas. I can heal you. Stand over here. Try I heal you. Try listen to me. Listen Try to that we shouldn't throw right. pearls before right. swine. All you want to do is talk. The apostle, the prophet okay. says, okay. I'm going to give you strong one wine. Okay. I'm wine guy. makes a fool of strong men. Brother. Stand here. You need to I get off this you. alcohol. Well, Take care okay. of yourself. I'm going to stand That's here. That's all I can say. And I can about heal you. Give up the alcohol. I can heal you. What about you? the Christian alcohol? My I advice to them is exactly the same. Started why, 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 exactly why, 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 the same. Alcoholics Anonymous was started by Christian alcoholics. Well, they're anonymous. How do you know? No, he's right. Alcoholics and alcoholics. Because we know who started it. We wrote about it. And listen, it's not going to be that point. I can tell you. The people who started it wrote about the experience. The people who started it wrote about the experience. No, Alcoholics no, Anonymous was started by Christians. I, I can heal you. An Alcoholic can I Anonymous has saved... I want to heal this man. An Alcoholic Anonymous has saved countless right, thousands of people from the abuse of alcohol that liberalism would hand people over and that suddenly this poor man is a demonstration of the people. I want to hear him. So the brother testifies, the brother testifies, the brother testifies, the brother testifies of the fruit of the Christian religion. The thousands of alcoholics have been set Can free of their alcoholic oh, abuse oh, by Christians Can I heal you? who were inspired this guy said by that. Jesus. Yeah. Not by I atheism, wanna, I, I not him. by liberalism, I by him. not by him, liberalism. not by Muhammad, but by Christ and the church. Let me heal him. I can blame liberalism for the fact that we tolerate alcohol abuse in this society well, how, what do you and do see it, it as a lifestyle choice. Can I hear you? Liberalism. If someone is addicted to alcohol, they can should be forced him? by the state to have right? help. Forced. Yes. Forced, forced by the state. And, 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 and look right wing people. Can I heal you? I am a Christian, I think that. I'm not right wing. I know, but it's not liberalism. That's all I'm saying. Can no, I no. Heal you? What is liberalism? No, but I'm saying alcoholism isn't liberalism. Liberalism is about you? giving the maximum okay. amount of freedom to individuals to live yeah. their own life yeah. in their own way. It seems different from money. How much does, money does Liberalism need? sees alcohol abuse money, as yeah. a lifestyle choice. Problem. How much money But not a need? problem that it's willing to end to, to to bring people money. out of. It's, it's like there's, there's looking. Within, it's like within, looking at people liberal, drowning. Liberals don't want to. No, see, hold on. The liberals don't want to see people being alcoholics, do they? No, they they, they do actually allow they them don't to want be. To see sorry, being alcoholics. I'm sorry, they Bob. In another life, do in they, a, Bob? Well, let me address that point. Yes, go on. Right. In another life, yes. I work for a pharmacy. Yes. Right. And in that pharmacy, rather than helping people who are addicted to opioids come off their addiction, all that we did, all that we did, and it was funded by the state, was simply to park them on methadone. The British liberal state, look, one second, let me finish. The British, no, no, I don't. The British state, which is a liberal state, sees the drug. Man yeah. and, and says to him, no. here's a lifeboat, oh, use like Bob, it bro. if you want to. Bob, Bob, they, they did park people methadone. They, they do, they did. not did, but, they're doing it now. They say, when they see it doesn't work, they're trying something else. Aren't they? okay. No, they're not they're trying, they're trying, they're something trying something else. Well, that's Duncan. changed very recently then. Well, in the last few when years, I worked in a pharmacy, they certainly didn't. But I'm not saying liberalism isn't alcoholism, is it? Liberalism isn't alcoholism, is it? They aren't encouraging alcoholism. Yes, they do. They're not encouraging alcoholism. Yes, they do. They'd rather see people not bring that. This liberal culture. Free no, you know this about? liberal culture <laughs> licenses people to drink alcohol to the point of their own oblivion, and, and, as demonstrated and, and, and how would you see, here. How would you see? Right, okay. Right? Don't judge me. So, I'm not judging you, bro. I'm saying to you, man up. Have you Because what you are right now is not a man. So where are you? I'm not drunk. So what are you doing? So, brother, I'm a Christian. So what are you doing? So what I'm saying to you, 
So yeah. you're holier than we me? We have a society. Yes. Speak to me. But because I'm talking to him now. Sorry. Right. Right. So we have a society Listen, that has licensed the use of alcohol yes. to the point of public destruction. Yeah. And it literally is destroying our society. All right. So in well, every conceivable right. way. Anyone been, has been a riot before, here. Yes. Since Middle Ages. And the reason and why. That wasn't liberalism. No, hold on one second. The reason why is because you we live in a culture a yes. that is consumerist, you can't is consumerist, yes. and that that's seeks not liberalism to either. Consumerism isn't liberalism. It's part of liberalism. Well, it's part of the right-wing culture in America as well. It's part of the liberal worldview. Well, it's part of right-wing culture in America as well. Isn't it? You're trying to separate liberalism into right and left and yeah, distance yeah, yeah, yeah. liberalism from the left. Well, no, I'm saying that. Isn't the left that wants alcohol? You don't understand. It? You don't understand what liberalism is. Liberalism is the move from everybody. You have no. To do it's a move is. from a theistic worldview to an anthro anthropic worldview, anthropological <laughs> worldview. It is when society moved the idea of God as the centre of its raison d'être and replaced it with the idea of humanity. So right-wing people who don't believe in God are liberal? Also. They're liberal? Along with communists. They're liberal? Yes. Communists are liberal? Yes. But communists enforce a lot of rules on people, don't they? All of these they ideologies like, are liberal. Like, like, like China, they're, they're, they're actually enforcing people's behaviour now. They're bringing like social media and social, social what do you call it? Social when, when the new fangled... When like the new, they're, they're, they're let's be clear, on. let's be clear, because you've got to understand the historical context. Yeah. When the newfangled ideas of the Enlightenment emerged, yes. they were understood as liberal ideas. Yes. But do you see, have you now, seen Now, out of that, China? sorry, one second. Go on. Out of that Enlightenment yeah. emerges both your Nazi, your capitalist, your socialist, and your communist. All right, but if the communists now, that's why they're the all liberal. now in China are saying, that basically they're, they're bringing the social capital in, and what they're what they're saying now is that if people are alcoholics or spend a lot of money on alcohol, they're going to get less social capital, and then they're not going to be able to fly even on fly on planes. And that's a communist, a communist, um, a communist um, technocracy now, and they're trying to stop people being alcoholics by basically giving them. Are you a communist by any chance? Why would I be a communist? I don't know, I'm just asking. Why would I be a communist? Are you a communist? I was looking at, I was reading what China are doing. I'm and just China asking. Are, why would I be a communist? I don't know if you are. Are you a communist? I'm asking you. I've no idea. If you are, he, he doesn't, he doesn't yes. know if he's a communist. What's a communist? Do you know what a communist is? Uh, well, I noticed that these communists are in China, but they've got some capitalist version of communism. Haven't they? Well, so, are you a communist? Uh, not as far as I know. Not as far as I, I know. know. Tell me what communist, and I'll tell you what I, what, 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 whether I am or not. Communist is the one who seeks to implement the philosophy of Karl Marx. I've never read Karl Marx. I've never read Karl Marx. You've never read Karl Marx? No, no, no I've never read Karl Marx. Okay, no. so just, just for my own inquiry, where do you come from on this ideological spectrum? Where do you sit? I don't sit on that ideological spectrum. Brother, you're either unbelievably conceited or you're lying. Because everyone sits on an ideological spectrum. Well, well, okay, you ask me some questions and I'll be able to tell you what I can tell you what I think about them, can't I? But I can't like I can't tell you I sit on this I am not I'm I'm not here like is there a case that you don't know where you sit on the ideological no, no, on each different thing, I'll, I'll say what I think. If you ask me a question, I'll, I'll tell you what I think about it. But, but I'm, I don't, I'm, not here, I'm not here with an ideology. Do you understand? Okay, fair enough. So you, you're, you're, you're a pragmatist. What's a pragmatist? <laughs> Go on, Bob. So a pragmatist is someone who decision... You no, take it's interesting. It's interesting. a pragmatist. I'm not, I've not talked to Bob before. I like Bob. I like a pragmatist is someone who makes a decision point by point and... They might make a decision following yeah, and one and solution one time, and then reserve it, and then make a totally yeah. different solution if, to the same problem. If they, if they learn more, if they learn if the something new, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, so I'm that's a pragmatist. Yeah, okay, so you so, yeah, do yeah, fit yeah. on an ideological oh, sorry, spectrum. Right, okay, there you are. I, I'm not saying I did. Like, I, 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 I just didn't, didn't know whether you didn't like know a, or whether you were just pretending not to. Well, I needed more explanation. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So my 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 fundamental point to you is on the question of alcohol abuse yes on the question of its abuse yes which is undeniable it's killing the english 
It's killing there, my own there, community. There, there's been a, a problem with alcohol well, bro, for the year dot. Since no, it the has year not. Dot. No. Since the year dot. In yeah. the Middle Ages, everyone we, used to drink beer because the water was fucked. That's yeah, so true. that's. But the point is, that is avoiding a worse problem, which is contaminated water. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there is a reason for They weren't that. liberal then, were they? No, definitely not. No, like but they weren't abusing alcohol. Alcohol was the safest thing to drink. So in terms like of party time, no? it's a, <laughs> but but the point is the point is in those times, yeah. right? It would not have been considered yeah. a sign of masculinity to get annihilated. Uh, that is not you think so? no because a Christian is someone who is self-disciplined, and so but do you think there's a lot of Christians? Can I finish? This? Go on, go on. So to be in control of your passions to the medieval right. man was the truest sign of masculinity. Do you think they actually lived like that? Or that yes, they did. Yes, they did. In really? terms of, yes, they did. You just need to read some history. In terms well, of, history, they were in terms of, brother, and, like, in terms of, brother, there was, like, some brother, 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 in terms of our modern society today, one of the definitions of masculinity, particularly amongst the white working class, is to annihilate yourself with alcohol. Absolutely, that somehow yeah. that yeah. proves go through it, that it? you are a man. People go through that. Yeah. It, that's it that's is, not liberal, is it? It is not. It is licensed by liberalism. But it's because not liberal, in, though, is it? No, it is. Because in the liberal, liberal world, Bob, view, come on. it is, brother. Bob, it's not liberal! It is. <laughs> it really is. Because in the liberal worldview, the idea is that the individual decides his own destiny, yeah. his own raison d'etre, his own identity. What have you got against that? That's, I've just expressed it. Well, you, you think one of the reasons some legislation for people not to decide what they want to do? That's, that's like communism or no. fascism, isn't what it? No, what I'm saying is, isn't it? when someone is an alcoholic, yes. our society should not park them on methadone right. and leave them there. Right. They should be forced no, I, I to come right. off their addiction. Forced. Yes. How? Forced. How? How forced? Well, I think the best way is that they are removed from their environment. Arrested. Yes. Placed into a centre so, like and China, given basically. cold like turkey. <laughs> like China is doing. I am not against harsh discipline. Well, like China is doing. There are other Christian... So, China is doing that with Muslims, isn't it? There are a million Muslims or something. Oh, in, in terms... Be, in ter let's be, be clear. Getting re-educated re Let's be clear. Let's be clear. Aren't they? Aren't they? Aren't they? In terms of harsh discipline, yes, yes, yes. I'm much more in favour of Russia's approach. Russia? Yes. Russia's approach is cold turkey. That's Russia's approach. And I think that is a better approach that we need to practice in the UK. They jail alcoholics in Russia. I don't know if they jail them. There's some fucking serious drinkers in Russia, Bob. <laughs> I know there are. Drinkers. I know um, there are. You're really right. Serious You're absolutely Russia. right. Really serious drinkers. Absolutely. I mean, they, if you they, have a drink they, with some they Russians. They drink vodka like water. Like, like they all talk to I you agree. and they all taste it and everything. And it's yeah. destroying but, the but, Russians. But, but, so so who, who, which Russians get arrested for being out there? I don't know if they get arrested. Ah, I know that the state solution... I, I don't know if the state solution... I don't know if the state solution involves arrest. But what it does involve is cold turkey. And that's what oh, we need in the UK. For junkies? Yes. Yeah, they don't yeah. like junkies. Right. Yeah, right. And the fact of the matter is that that is better than the license that we give to alcohol abuse in the UK. Well, I mean, I, mean, I, mean, I suppose a liberal would, 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 would see heroin as... as, as oh, this is what I would say, actually. I'd say, if you find what I do believe, uh, like... like um, they, they, they describe um, like heroin addiction as a social problem. They, 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 they want to liberals. They seem to want to move away from arresting people and, and being a criminal thing. They want to legalize they want to help, it. They want to help yeah. people. Legalize it, or gonna, they want to help. And let me tell you why they want to legalize it. Go on. They want to legalize it so they can pack it, stick a label on it, sell it to you, and then put a tax on it. That's what they want to do, and that's why they want to do it. That's Richard that's Branson true. wants to legalise cannabis so he can have a brand of cannabis that's called illegal. Virgin yeah, yeah. Cannabis. <laughs> yeah, without, without, that's without, what Richard that's Branson wants I think to that's do. True. Yeah, yeah. And that's yeah. why we need... When he gets on his flights, then he can have a liberal. Yeah, yeah. And that's why we need to yeah. oppose liberalism, because liberalism has failed the West. Yeah. It's failing the working class. But what do you want instead of liberalism? Christianity. Like, like, yeah, no, but what do you, what do you uh, think about in terms of I'm law? I'm surprised you have to ask that question. In terms, no, in terms of reality and law, what, what is there a want? legal Christian? I want, I want laws to be informed by Christian ethics. That's why. But, but for non-Christians? Yes. Why? In the same way that... Why? 
I'm going charge, to answer will you, the question. Will you, will you, you don't need to ask it twice. <laughs> in the same way that liberal nationalism imposes the values of liberal nationalism on everyone, irrespective of their religion. They want people to be national. Will you charge Jesus? Liberal like nationalism, yeah. Liberals want to be people to be national. Yeah, you, you've got a lot of packaging Tommy around. Robert, like, Tommy Rabbit Robert. No, that is not necessarily a, a liberal form But like, of he's quite nationalist, isn't he? Well, so is David Cameron. Yeah, I suppose so, yeah. But, and he's, is he liberal? Is David Cameron Tommy Robinson? Is he a liberal? Definitely he is. He's liberal? Tommy David Cameron is, definitely. He's a liberal? Yes! So is Jeremy Corbyn. Corbyn, yeah. Well, you would think Corbyn is left-wing. Uh, ah, yeah. so you equate yeah. liberalism with the left? I don't think Cameron. No, I, mean, I don't think Cameron. No, no, I mean, liberalism in America means a different thing than it does over here, doesn't it? Liberalism to a Christian means anyone who puts humanity at the centre of their civilization and worldview. Ah. So it's like quite all-encompassing, isn't it? Yeah, because like like, like right-wing people would be like Texans with you're, guns you're and everything would be called liberal. To me, they are. The right-wing nationalists are liberals like left-wing communists because both of them build their ideology on anthropology on the idea of an, like, like, uh, the self the reason, as the god. The reason why I ask you sometimes because you come out with things about um, like um, uh, you come up with some old right terminology. Like for example, um, I've seen you on camera saying saying soy boy. And yes. And you so you've been watching some all right guys. Yeah. Yeah. Which one? I've watched. Well, I, firstly, no, hold on one second. I might have fallen. Soy in. boy, go on. No, let me let so me just let me just. Soy boy, where's that from? Can I just deal with that? Yes. Right. He characterised these people as being alt right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, right. Yeah. 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 But just for the record, I disagree with that characterisation. Okay, yeah. So I've listened to Tommy Robbins. Yeah. I've listened to uh, Melanie Phillips. Yeah. Douglas Murray. Uh, Lauren Southern. Faith Goldie. Where does yeah. soy boy come from then? Wait, it is a terminology that's used on the right to describe. Americans. To Americans. Dis yeah, American, American so right. American, right did you American get conservatives yes. have used that yeah. term to describe weak liberal, weak liberal yeah. Yeah. And, left wingers. And so which one did you watch to get that from? I don't remember. But you not really been watching all right things and thinking, yeah, yeah. No, no, again, you characterise it as alt right. Yeah, they characterise themselves. I don't think they do. The, the ones who say soy boy definitely do. I'm pretty sure you're wrong. They do. The I'm pretty sure you're wrong. Boy call themselves I'm pretty sure you're wrong. But just so you know, just so you know, I also listen to Sam Harris. Yes, yes. I also listen to um, Christopher Hitchens. Yes. I also listen to. Um, Jeremy Corbyn. Yes. I also listen to. Um, let's just think of some other names. Who you listen? Diane Abbott. Well, you don't listen to Diane Abbott. No one listens to Diane Abbott. I listen to her. Every she doesn't listen to herself. <laughs> <laughs> she her numbers to go. Oh my God. My, my she point, probably doesn't actually. She probably my, thinks she's right. My point to you, bro, God. is that I'll listen. To lots of different Yeah, I do as well. I watch, I watch a lot of alt right stuff as well, and that's why I was interested in you and the soy boys thing. Yeah. I'm I've listened, right, Bob. <laughs> I've listened. I've listened to. I've listened to Mansoor and to Hashim. Yeah, it's good to watch. Listen I've listened to, to Mohammed Hijab. Yeah. Now, so what? What? I. Do you have a position on Tommy Robinson? Yes, you do. Yeah. Go on. He needs to become a Christian. <laughs> yeah. He's not one. You know what my position in on you is? He's not a Christian. Not that I'm aware of. And Do you know what my position of you is? Go on. You should become a Christian too. I used to be a Christian. I used to be one. I used to be a Christian. Well, used to be is no good. <laughs> you need to be. Yeah, used to be. Yeah, used to be a Give a book. I used to be a born again Christian. Yeah. Uh, you, what, why did you leave? Sex, drugs and rock and roll. <laughs> Sex, drugs and rock and roll. I did, I did. You know the parable of the I sower, did. right? I did. I did. Do you know the parable of the sower? sower. I can't remember it. Go on. Yeah. Go on. I'll tell you the parable yeah, of the sower. That's right. The Christ told his disciples a parable, yeah. which is that a man sowed seed into a field, yeah. and some of the seed landed on the ground, on the, good the ground. pavement, yeah, yeah. Yeah. and it was hard as rock. Some seeds fell onto rocks, yeah, yeah, yeah. some seeds fell amongst the weeds, and some seeds fell amongst the good soil. Yeah. And he went on to say that those that fell upon the hard rock yeah. are those that hear the word of God and they are closed-minded to it. Mm. They shut their mind to it, they don't listen. Mm. Those that fell on the hard rock are those whose, the, whose 
uh, soil is not deep. And for a time, yeah, 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 yeah. they celebrate yeah, yeah. the good news. Yeah. But their root is not deep and it doesn't go deep into yeah, their yeah. lives. And those seeds that fall amongst weeds are like those yeah. who hear the word rejoice, yeah. but then, then, then the concerns of this world, yeah, sex, yeah, yeah, drugs, yeah. and yeah. rock and roll. There wasn't concerns as well. Shall I tell you how it happened? One second, I will oh, come back yeah, to that. Yeah, yeah. Take away from them yes. that truth. Yes. But then there are those that hear the word of God mm. and they are like the seed mm. upon which lands in the good soil mm. because the roots grow deep and the plant grows large yes. and they bear much fruit. Yeah, yeah, lovely. You're a good preacher. I'll tell you what happened to me. Like I was, I grew up a Christian amongst the Christian community. Yeah. Like, and I was like, I, I, I believed it really, really strongly. Like, yeah. you know? And then I, I started working and I started working with people who were non-Christians and that lot. And I, I realised that they weren't motivated by the devil. Yep. Or they weren't like, you know, they just didn't know. They were just like, you know, some people believe one thing, some people believe another yeah. thing. Yeah, they just absolutely. didn't know. Yeah. And, 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 they, and they just, um, and, yeah, and, yeah. The, and there was no, and there, there was no Christians are nice people. And it's like when I, when, when, when I lost, lost my faith, when I went back to my church, um, there was people who were, who uh, were they, they wanted me to become Christian still again and they were like trying to win an argument with me like that and, you know and I just thought like you know what I mean you can move along yeah, like. yeah. and there's other people who were like Dave how are you and they really meant <laughs> Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. And so, and so I, I didn't. I realised that people aren't like good and bad according to religion. They're good and bad according Can to religion. Can I build themselves. on that point because I think yeah, it's a good do, point? Yeah, yeah. Firstly, please notice that the response was either become a Christian or Dave, how are you? Not we're going to kill you, you cool father no, he pastor. Doesn't, he doesn't. Yeah, yeah, Just an interesting difference there. <laughs> yeah. But not all Muslims say but, that but, either, but, is it? No, but Islam is does, and that's no, the difference. No, some Islam One does. Second, no, some Islam does. Except Ahmadiyya Islam, some but Islam that's does. condemned as a heresy by every other Muslim. And Sufis. No, I'm, so, no, I'm Sufis sorry. Sufis, Sufis, do. Sufis, Sufis do. Sufis do. I'm sorry. Sufis oh, I know do. really nice Sufis. I know oh, really nice. Really Sufis. nice. Like. My no, lecturer at no, university <laughs> was a Sufi. <laughs> he was <laughs> lovely. But he didn't argue. Right. Muslims here don't want to kill me. Right. Right. So, so, so I'm sorry, so bro. The same. You're confusing. You're confusing. Like most liberals do. Am I a liberal? I think you are. Oh. So you're confused. No, like, like most I'm liberals, I'm liberals do. Like, I'm a liberal. Yeah. Hey, go on. Do you want to listen? Yeah, go on. Right. You're confusing like most liberals do. Yeah. A critique of the ideology and the teaching of the religion with the critique of the people. Now, it might not be in the mental capacity of the liberals to make a distinguishment between those two things. Sorry, say that but again. it is within the capacity of a Christian to make a distinguishment between, between those two things, between the ideology and the practitioners. Say that again. Sorry. So, my point to you is, yeah. my point to you is, yeah. um, one, we didn't try to kill you because our religion doesn't teach you. But not all Muslims do either. Uh, there you go again. You didn't. It didn't listen. Go on. No, so, no, no, I didn't. I, I yeah, you did explain it to me again. Yeah, I will. I I'll come. Go I'll circle on, back on. around yeah, to it. Yeah, go on. I'll circle back around to it. Yeah, go on. But a much more important that I want to make to all my the Christians who are watching this. Yes, Christians. Is how false characterizations about non-Christians works against us. Okay. Those characterizations when they are confronted by the reality, undermine the faith of our own community. We need to raise our children. We need to raise and, and encourage one another to have as realistic a perspective upon non-Christians as we would expect non-Christians to have of us. And if we don't want non-Christians to characterize the Christian community, we must not characterize non-Christians. And too many fellowships do exactly that, as this brother's testimony shows. No, no, and when, some did, some and did. when, and when, and when those characterizations, when those characterizations meet with reality, as seen here, they collapse no, no, in the face class? of class? reality. What your class? faith, your faith. So, oh, I see. what yeah, we need yeah, to yeah, do yeah. as yeah, Christians, yeah, yeah. Like what we need to do as Christians is to teach the most realistic presentation of non-believers as possible and also equip what? our community to engage with those non-believers in a way that makes sense and deals with yeah. their perspectives well, yeah, totally. rather yeah, yeah. than 
a simplistic characterization of their perspective. Yeah. And maybe, yeah. I want to ask you a hypothetical yeah, yeah, question. Yeah, you go on, Bob. If you had been raised in the faith as I have just expressed it, raised, do you think, raised. do you think, <laughs> that you may well have ended up keeping your faith. No, I was raised in the faith and those people didn't put me off. <laughs> you, you, no, no, those no. Those people didn't put raised. me off. The no, question no, no. I was raised in the faith. All right, he doesn't want to answer the question. Oh, answer, the question. answer the question. Answer the question. So the hypothetical yes. question that I'm asking. Yeah. Is it, is it, You've yes, just... All Christians were all wonderful. No, I didn't say that. <laughs> what, what are you saying then? <laughs> what are you saying? Yes, I like What? Can you help me out? What? What? Yeah, Are you ready? Nice. Yeah, go on. Are you listening? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So if Christian yes. had raised you yeah. not to believe in the simplistic black and white view of non-believers, when you had gone into the workplace, if you had been raised with a, a an understanding of those people that was more realistic and more in keeping with what you experienced in reality, and if you had been raised in a way to engage with those people from a Christian perspective, I engaged with people. Do people you became think Christians because I talked to them? Do you? Like do you? Six people became Amen. Christians. Because Fantastic. I was six. Fantastic. Yeah. Which I mean, like, like I, I, I was, I was. So we were going, we were going to look, talk look, about what, what specifically was, was it that? Listen, what does Christianity, you know, Christianity you know, teach you about uh, relationships with non-Christians? Teaches us to love them. And what else does it teach you? Does it teach you that you aren't supposed to have a relationship like, like a? A, They're not part of the fellowship. You aren't supposed to have a partner who's, who's, who's a non-Christian. We're not to be in You're fellowship with them. Unequally yoked in relationship, a man and a woman. Une they call it unequally yoked. Doesn't yoke. say a man and a woman. No, but between a Hold man on. and a woman, like you can't you can marry a non-Christian. Hold can on. Can a gay person be Christian? Can you, Hold can on. you marry a non-Christian? Well, let me let me yeah, let me on. just deal with those points. Yeah. Yeah. One. Yeah. The passage that you're talking about is in the book of Corinthians. Oh, nice. And what it says is in in dialogue about false religion yeah about engaging with and celebrating the pagan festivals in Corinth ah. and it says that the believer should not be unevenly yoked with yeah. the unbeliever yeah. because what part does light have with darkness what partnership is there between the false gods of that Rome sort of thing, exactly. and the That's Christian? That's encouraging people to be separate. So, so as Christians, That's encouraging people to be separate, as Christians, no, we are not to it. partake in no, any no. multi-faith ceremony where we act as if Muslims, Hindus, Sikhs, and Buddhists and, and Christians are all worshiping the same God. Right, right. Those churches that do that are ignoring the apostolic teaching. Right. I can embrace you yeah. and have time with you yeah. on the basis that you are made in the image of God and yeah. that gives you dignity yeah. apart from anything else. Mm. But I cannot have fellowship with you as a Christian. I can't no, no, no. celebrate yeah, the sacraments can't with you. Yeah, that's fine. We can't yeah, enjoy fine. the Lord's Supper together. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah? yeah. You can't be there yeah. at a baptism. I mean, like, like I say, I, 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 didn't, I didn't disagree like with Christianity and think that Christians were wrong. I, I just like... Go on, I really want to know why you stopped being a Christian. Yeah, I grew up a bit. I, I, I grew up a bit and had the experience of the world. And I realised there's lots of things which... I tell you what, I thought I had all the answers yeah. and I didn't even know what the bloody question was. My you know, God. and and so as I yeah. got older, he yeah, said I everything now. questioning and the question more. I had a nervous breakdown at the age of 25. Yeah, probably, to, probably to do with a, a relationship, but I realised that it was hidden stuff about me having a fear of hell. Yeah, it just caught up with me all of a sudden. Yeah, and then I got to the end of that. Like I was looking at my ceiling, and there was leaves yeah. stuck all over the ceiling. It was very weird and very strange. At the end of that. I I, I, I reaffirmed that I still didn't yeah. believe Christianity. Like yeah. I, I, like, I got over that fear of hell. I thought, yeah, like like I realised I I transferred my 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 because I was and I had a, I had like God shaped hole in my and I transferred my God to women <laughs> like you know and so when relationships worked oh, I was wonderful there. when they didn't it's like my God had disappeared yeah. like, you know and that's why I had a sort of a God. I don't know if it's a nervous breakdown but I had a I had a, I had a breakdown and, and they'll be and they'll without be, a house without okay, a job so let me let me address stuff like so me. there'll be some yeah. Christians who listen to this yes and they'll latch on to that and say oh no you were never really a Christian yeah no, well I'm, I'm not one of those people because no, I don't because mind brother yeah I don't mind it shut up for a second well you you like preaching away Bob don't you yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut up for a Be second. Sharp for just, a second. Just, Go on, just, Bob. Like, let someone else. There you go, mate. Right. So the point that I'm making to you, right? Yeah. yeah. I fully accept that you were a Christian. You stopped being a Christian, yeah, yeah, and it came with consequences. Maybe. And the fact of the matter is, in the West, 
we are seeing massive apostasy from the church. Apostasy. Huge you numbers of Christians who are leaving the faith. Yes, absolutely. And they're leaving the faith because the level of discipleship amongst our fellowships is rotten to the core. That's not why I left. No, One second. No, no. The, 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 what I've heard from your story is that emotionally, emotionally, your faith was immature, not through your fault, but through the fault immature, of the fellowship. Yeah, not knowing the answers yeah. before any other questions. Not yeah, even yeah. necessarily knowing yeah. the right questions. Yes, yeah. yeah. And that, it's that, that true. Yeah, that is, it's yeah, true. Yeah. Because in so many fellowships of the church in the West, we aren't dealing with the real questions that people are asking. What we're dealing with are the questions that Christians like to ask one another. And that means that when we teach Christians the questions that Christians like to ask one another, and then those Christians go out into a world that's asking totally different questions, and upon which the society is imposing totally different questions, the Christian is unequipped to deal with the questions themselves. They are, they are. They, they are. Really are. And so yeah. many of our they brothers are. and sisters are losing their faith because of that reason. And I would say to you, brother, because I experienced a similar crisis. Did you? Yeah. What happened? I'll tell you. When I left university, I experienced a crisis of having to deal with all of these questions inside of the church, inside of the Christian community to which I found no answers. Like, how do you find a partner in a godly way in a society like the UK? Yeah, yeah. Right? Christian dating. Right, right. Yeah, there is. That's there, 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 on the internet. It wasn't there. The internet wasn't around then. It wasn't there when I was there. Yeah, no, no, yeah, yeah, no, Without no. giving my age away, it wasn't there. No, no, it wasn't there. There's no, there. no, no internet. You must be about the same age as me. There was no internet back then. Let me, let me, let me go on. Let me go on. I'm not stone age, mate. There was an internet. Right. But the point that I'm at, the point that I'm making to you is, is that I endured this kind of crisis. Yes. in which questions that I needed, like how am I going to find a job? How am I going to find a house? How am I going to That's find huge, all normal questions? questions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the church had nothing it to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. The church had nothing to say. Yeah. And we still don't. Right? There has, there has been initiatives by Christians now. Yeah. Christian dating websites, yeah. Christian flat share. There are Christian websites now for everything. Yeah. We've been but the slow. Web around then, was it? No, we've been. Well, it was. Was it? Yeah. But let, let me. Oh, yeah, let, you're younger than me. Let then. me make. <laughs> let me make the point. Let yeah. me make the point that I, I want to make. Is if the church had been dealing with the real answers that people face, rather than lots of people giving up the faith because they can't find the answers inside the community. What we would find is that actually people would become Christian because they're facing the same answers and they would find the answers in the church. You think they would? Yes. Maybe there aren't any answers. <laughs> there are really no, they're, they're, basic they are, human are, questions. Maybe, maybe no, there aren't answers. No. Like, there's, there's, there's Christians struggling everything. to get work now. Like, yeah, I, I know. And, and, and what can the Christian, what can the church say? I, I, I know. And what can the church well, say? what I would firstly Religion say to every Christian looking for a job is try and work for a Christian organisation. Yeah. And how do they do that? Sure. By applying. So, uh, <laughs> at the point. <laughs> I'm lying, shit! But, sorry, the sorry, internet. sorry, 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 and until we deal with the reasons why people are leaving the faith... But you haven't dealt with the reasons why I left I'm literally going to finish in two seconds. Until we deal with the reasons why people are leaving the faith, we won't be able to stop the rot. But more interestingly, everyone who leaves the faith is showing you a way that someone can convert to the faith. Because every apostasy is a form of conversion. So they are showing you, literally, the way to bring people into the faith. How can I do that? How can I convert back to Christianity if I don't believe it? Well, for anymore? you... Yeah, I don't believe anything. For you, it's about re-examining some of the questions to which you think you've got the answers. I don't think I've got the answers, Bob. 
I don't think, I'm not saying I've got the answers. I'm saying, like, um, Christianity hasn't got the answers either. I don't think people Answer maybe me this question. Answers, like, Did know. Jesus Christ rise from the dead? How would I bloody know? <laughs> How the hell would I know? <laughs> okay. Oh, well, you, did you say well, you used well, to be well, a Christian? I'm very yeah, impressed. Did, yeah, yeah. did you believe yeah, it back then? I did believe yeah, it. You're very you honest. Honest. You're you're honest. Honest. I knocked on people's doors yes. telling them about Jesus genuine, back then. Genuine, genuine. Yeah. On a Sunday. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, you, yeah, yeah. 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 Well, you couldn't have really believed it. So let me let me. I knocked on people's doors telling them about Jesus. On a Sunday morning, people were asking about Jesus. I'm going to demonstrate something. happy they were. I want to demonstrate something to you. Go on. You said, I don't know. I How would I know? You. Let me finish. No, no, no. I respect you. If you are saying that your position is, I do not know, what you're saying is there are a set of premises upon which you are basing that response. And those premises are conclusions. Lack of knowledge, Bob. So you're saying... I don't know. So you're saying... <laughs> one second. Lack of knowledge. And on what are you saying that you don't have enough evidence to conclude that Jesus rose from the dead yeah. when the testimony of the church is that Christ did so? The testimony of, of, of these Muslims can tell you all sorts of stuff as well. And what they tell you is a load of rubbish. In your opinion. And historically too. But like, like, if like. Was, I mean, I've got no idea if he was. But how would I know? Let, Jesus, just because somebody said that he was raised from the dead, why would I believe? Yeah, yeah, right. So, too, so what too. you're saying like is they say a lot of things about Prophet Muhammad. I'm scared. Absolutely. Of One second. I, two things. Two things. Of, One. Uh, Muslims say that Jesus was never crucified. Yeah. That contradicts all the historical evidence. And, and Jehovah's Witnesses is crucified on a pole. And that also contradicts all the historical evidence. He wasn't yeah, crucified yeah, yeah. on a pole. He wasn't crucified on a pole. And Crucifixion was evidence. a cross. Yeah, he had a crossbar. There's historical evidence. A crossbar. Yes. Yes. But at least they say he was crucified. Yeah. That's the main thing. He was, it doesn't he was matter crucified. how he was crucified, but he was crucified. He no, died there is there is an important Why do you think that's important? Brother, no. brother, listen. Why do you think that's important? Listen, if you're saying that how do I know, yeah. why should I believe? What you're really saying is that you have concluded that there isn't sufficient evidence when to yeah, believe I, I, in the resurrection. I, 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 would, I would believe in things. I, I don't. I, I try. I try. Ever since I lost, ever since I lost Christianity, I try very hard not to believe anything. Yeah. Yeah. I don't believe things. It's like if I know something, I, if, if I, I know there's that policeman over there. You know what I mean? Like yeah. all that. So is that scientific based yeah, yeah. sort of thing? And and because I needed to. Because if I start believing things, if I like conspiracy theories, when when 9/11 happened, like that, you know, if I start believing conspiracy theories. I would have gone bloody insane. So I was thinking, I've never been to New York. I don't know about those planes hitting that building. I don't know what's going on. And I can read everything and I don't decide to believe any of it. I don't decide to believe things. Do you know what I mean? It's like you've decided to believe things, haven't you? Yes. Yeah. And and like that's your choice obviously, like in a liberal country okay. and all that. There you go. <laughs> it's my choice in a liberal country. So so my point to you is Bill. Go on, Bob. You have already concluded that there isn't sufficient evidence. If if, if things change, Would I'll you, tell you. Well am I right? If things change, I'll tell you. Are you are you is that your position or is it a characterization? Have you concluded that there is not sufficient evidence to believe in the resurrection? Um, um, I, I don't make a conclusion. It's all ongoing. So explain, ongoing. explain ongoing. to me. Explain to me what. No, no, I think you're equivocating. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I think, I genuinely is, that, think is that good or bad? What's equivocating? It means that you're fudging it. I'm not, mate. If someone brings me better evidence, I will make a belief, wouldn't I? So everything that I'm hearing from you resonates with the narrative I got a, that there I is got not sufficient evidence to believe in the resurrection. If I see, the, yeah, yeah, no, I haven't seen sufficient evidence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. So I wasn't yeah, yeah, characterising yeah, you. I haven't seen you. it, but I right. haven't made a conclusion either, Bob. No, you have. I haven't. De facto, you have. I haven't made because a conclusion. Because nature abhors a vacuum, and the thing well, is, nature can abhor all the hell it likes, can't it, Bob? Well, well, you're demonstrating the fact that by saying that you don't believe that there's sufficient evidence to believe in the resurrection. I didn't say I don't believe it. You I have, said I have not aware of it. You, you have, have not de aware facto. of it. I'm not aware of it. You have de facto, you have de facto said that you don't believe in the resurrection. I it's don't a believe natural in belief, following of logic. I don't believe in belief. Things that either are do you or believe they're that? not. I don't believe in belief. Do you believe yeah. that? What? <laughs> what you've just said. I don't believe in belief. Do you believe it? 
don't believe in belief. Yeah, but do you believe that? <laughs> no, I don't believe in belief. So do you no, believe what believe you've it? just said? How would I believe it? So you don't believe yeah, in what yeah. you've just you said? Believe that? Yeah, yeah. So hold on. Look, look, He's look, just look. said, I don't believe no, in belief. Look, look, yeah. look, look. So look. if I don't believe in the belief, I don't believe in don't believing. I don't believe in belief. So there are things either are or they're not. There either is a God or there isn't one. Yeah, that's what I believe. I believe that well, you I do believe. In I believe that either is one or there isn't one. And, and and if I get new information, I would I would if I if 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 someone proved to me if you if you believe that Jesus rose from the dead or something, yeah. Yeah. I would think, oh right, I I hope that I'd be able to change my opinion. Like, so what I'm, would I'm you consider to be irrefutable proof? Um, I don't know. God knows. Now, do you? On second. I don't know. Do you not think? that that is an appropriate question upon which to begin a true investigation. What counts as um, appropriate evidence to believe in the resurrection? Oh yeah, I mean, I think evidence is a good idea. Yeah. Right, so don't you think that you should first answer the question to yourself and invite anyone else who doesn't believe in the resurrection yeah. to ask this question of themselves? What constitutes to you to be necessary proof? Yeah, I suppose so. um, that's a question no, that you need so, to yeah. answer for yourself. Because I would say to you this. Well, I don't need to answer that anymore than these. The, I don't need to answer for whether, you know, these Muslims, they, they come up with the same yep. thing. Oh, there's Trinity. Is there three? Is there not three? Oh, yeah. Is there there's Jesus? three gods, it's like, one God, all that. Well, he believes this. These Muslims believe that. Please well, I don't notice. believe on, or don't believe anything. Please notice, notice that quite independently of any provocation from myself. Yes. He has just testified that the Dawah team go around attacking the Trinity. Yeah, and yet, no, he's not testified. They I saw you arguing with him on video, but I'm not so, testifying. <laughs> and so, I saw you arguing with so, him. And so, and so come to argue. us saying, oh, you only attack Islam. But that's what they're doing around the they, park they, they right now. They always ask, that's the first well, question they ask about yeah. Christians. Of course they're going. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. now let me ask going. you this question, yeah. okay? You've got to ask your, because would you agree with me that the, the crucifixion and resurrection of Jesus Christ are historical questions. Yes. Right. So in terms of what counts as sufficient proof to believe in the resurrection, yeah. we would have to use a historical criteria. Yes. Yes. So far, so good. Now, do you know what is the historical criteria used by historians to decide what happens in history? In terms of the resurrection? In terms of any historical question. Well, go on then, Bob. Right. I'm, I'm not sure what you're saying. Go on. What they do. It's called, it's called the hypothesis with explanatory power. So what they... Yeah. <laughs> that's what they call it. It's a hypothesis. It's, 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 a, it's got to right, have... Go on, go on. It's a narrative with a, yeah, a, a yeah, explanatory yeah, yeah. power. So when a historian comes to a historical question, yeah. they look at all the available evidence, yeah. and then they have to come up with a hypothesis yeah. that absorbs all of the evidence without straining, right. without stretching, yeah. and without manipulation. Can you not just get to the historical proof for the resurrection? Yeah. I'm sorry I know that, though, but like, go on. Go Are on. you done? Yeah, yeah, go on. So, they have to use all of the evidence yeah. without stretching or manipulation or bending, yeah. right? Which is why the Dawah team are always selective in their text, and that's why they're not historical. Yeah. And then when they've done that, they have to have an hypothesis that explains all the available evidence. Okay? And that evidence when it comes to Jesus Christ is not just the evidence of the New Testament. Right. It's also the writings of Tacitus, yes, Josephus, yeah. Sertorius, yeah. Pliny, um, and a, a, a whole bunch of others. As well as, oh, look, as well as, thank you, thank you. Yeah, as yeah, well, well as a whole set of strata of... And do they all say he rose from the dead? Well, we can, I can go through what they say, actually. Yeah, go on. Yeah. So they look at all this evidence, yeah. yeah, and they come up with a hypothesis that explains everything without stretching. And the only explanation that I have found that's convincing is that Christ really rose from the dead. What did they say which made you think? Right, well, let, let me... It's actually the other way around. So when people like Dr. Bart Ehrman, who's an apostate like you, was a fundamentalist Christian. <laughs> that's that's, 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 that's bad, it's a Christian it? thing. Apostate. apostate, I didn't realise. Yeah, apostate yeah. is a Greek word, not an Arabic word. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, so, it sounds, yeah, it sounds good. Yeah. It does, yeah, yeah. So, the, the, I learned something. Is that so, when someone leaves a religion? Yeah. I learned something. Yeah, yeah. So, Bart Ehrman was a fundamentalist Christian yeah. who lost his faith, like yeah, you did. Yeah, yeah. Right. And when he looks at all the historical data, yeah. what he has to do 
is take out those bits of historical data that don't fit into his worldview, which means that he stops being a historian and he becomes a philosopher. And that's what everyone does who ignores the clear evidence for the resurrection. Which is? That the first believers proclaimed that Christ had risen from the dead. That's the evidence. With every predisposition that is the evidence. not to. These guys, they said someone rose from the dead. That's the evidence. Bob. Yes. That's the evidence. Yes. Well done, Bob. Nice right. one. Now, let's well see this. Well yeah, done, yeah. Bob. He's laughing. Nice he's laughing, but that's the really, Is that really the evidence? That is the evidence. They said that he rose from the dead. Yep. So that's, that's the it. evidence. So explain oh, why they did. Bob. Explain why they did. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, I stumped. That. Well, I got no idea what they did, Hello, Bob. There you go. Another one. There why you go. Why did they? Why did they? Someone, someone banged Explain them on the head. Explain why they did. Why did they? Of someone banged them on the head. I've got true. no idea. And people Explain say all it. sorts of shit. So, people say all sorts of shit. So his argument is no, people I'm not say all it's not sorts true of shit. Even. It may be it's true. <laughs> That's his argument. Maybe it's true. Great way to deal with the <laughs> evidence. <laughs> what evidence? Well, I don't what like evidence, that. Bob? But people what? say all sorts what of shit. What evidence, Bob? <laughs> what really? evidence, Bob? That's, That's not evidence. What evidence? It is an in What evidence that anybody <laughs> rose from the dead, Bob? What evidence? Okay. My faith is based upon the testimony of the apostles. Exactly, Jesus. it's not evidence, is it, Bob? That is it's, evidence. It's belief. Bob. It is it's evidence belief. of which is why their I belief. Like, which is why I don't One like second. belief, isn't it? One second. You do believe things. Stop lying. I don't like <laughs> belief. You do believe things. I don't like belief We've because of that. We've already established that you have belief. I don't like belief because of We've that. We've already established yeah. belief. You, you believe brother, something these people say. Before you, There's nothing about anyone before rising you, from the dead. Before There's no brother, evidence of someone rising from the dead. Brother, can you he's believe triggered, because these people have said triggered, it? He's triggered. These people said it. He's triggered. He's triggered. He these people he's, said it. I think it's hilarious. He's got, he's, it's hilarious. It's, the right, joke's on you if you listen. It's hilarious. These people said it, so you believe it. Are you done? Fantastic. Are you done? <laughs> Fantastic. Are you done? Where's your evidence? Are you for done? Jesus raised him. Are, Are you Do done? Are you done? Answer my question. Are you done? Right. So now I want you to address my question. I want you to address on, this question. question. The first apostles, yeah. with every cultural disposition not to came to the conclusion and went and lived and preached and died for this conclusion. They're really lovely that people. Christ I think a lot of them are really great people. Shut up no, for a I second really again mean. and listen to and the he, question. He just goes on and on and on <laughs> and just tells everyone to shut up, doesn't it? It's boring, isn't it? Go on. Right. So, deal with the question. Yeah, go on. With every predisposition not to. Yeah. They came to the conclusion that a man they knew had yeah. died on a cross and was dead. alive post-mortem. Yeah. And they lived it, preached it, and died for why, it. Why did that? My question to you is why? Well, the, have, you, have you seen Buddhists, what they die for? Have you seen Muslims, what they die for? Have you seen, I mean, they believe things. They believe things. They, you believe things, Bob. They, you, these guys, they believe things. Saying that they believe things they believe doesn't things, address the question they, why? They, why, would, why? How would I know I wasn't there, Bob? Right, so. You, th that's the question you have to deal with, brother. I don't know. I mean, like, I don't You're know, really stumped on you. I don't know. No, I've got no idea. You, you're, you haven't seen any, you haven't bring any evidence on anybody raising from the dead. None. Can you be no, 100%? I None, have. Bob. You said you believe it because other people believed yeah. it. Correct. You said you believe it because other people Correct. believed it. Correct. But now I'm asking why did those first people believe it who had no one to tell them? They're welcome to believe it, mate. I know they're welcome to believe it, but why? <laughs> Why? Why? Why would I know? <laughs> they must have seen it. That's a wrap up. How there would we go. I know? We'll leave it at that because that's the question you've got to answer. That's nice the question. Nice speaking to you, Bob. <laughs> honestly, brother. Nice speaking to you, Thank honestly. you. Nice speaking yeah, to you yeah, as well. Yeah, You're yeah, a really yeah, nice guy. Yeah, yeah. But I would encourage you to pick yeah, yeah. up that New yeah. Testament again. I, I like it. I really Read like it. Read it. Because and I, and you I, said, hold on. You said you I have no evidence that a man rose from the yeah, dead. Yeah, yeah. That is evidence that a man rose from the dead. Deal with it. I don't understand what on earth you're talking about. Thank you. You do. You were Thank a you Christian for long enough. I really don't know. I really don't know. I really don't. And that and that's the question. Stop, Jim. That's the question that I'd leave to all of you who are watching this program who aren't Christians. It's come up twice today in discussion. What is it that convinced the very first Christians, with every cultural disposition not to believe it, that Christ, a man that they had seen die on a cross, they had seen post-mortem. What convinced them of that? There was no one before them to preach it to them. So it wasn't that they were convinced. I'm convinced Cothos has preached it to me, but I'm not asking you to believe on my testimony. 
I'm asking you to believe on their testimony. And the question that I propose that you all answer for yourselves is dealing with the evidence, what convinced that first Christian community to believe that their Messiah had risen from the dead? And when you answer that question in the affirmative, that he did rise from the dead, then you need to accept him as the Messiah and follow him as your Lord and your God.